Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and give you guys another progress update, but more importantly, how to craft a lot of the gear that I'm using. So since I'm playing Trade League, I realize my progress is very accelerated and be harder to follow along. So instead of me emphasizing on what I've gotten, I want to help you kind of understand how I've acquired this. Today is going to be more of a crafting day. Uh, I do have a map here that I'm going to go run real fast just to kind of show you guys what the upgrades look like. And right when we're done with this, I'm going to teach you how to craft an entry-level chess piece, an entry-level weapon, and entry-level gloves. And you can use this method that I'm doing and apply it to pretty much everything. So with that being said, let me go ahead and just zoom right through this map. So if you look on the side of the screen, you'll actually be able to see my tooltip DPS. Uh, tooltip DPS is my hideout DPS. Hideout DPS quite literally means unbuffed, no endurance charges, no flasks, no frenzy. That's just my DPS. So once you get to a point kind of like this, you can quite literally just walk through majority of the content in the game. You don't even really have to throw a fire trap. I mean, I guess against like exiles and a few other things. Uh, but for the most part, you are just straight up walking through your content. This is also uh, when I would decide to go unstoppable. So normally I would go unstoppable. I just don't really feel like respecting for some reason. I don't know. I'm just kind of lazy. Um, I like the extra AOE on the endurance charges right now. But realistically, I'm probably going to respect to unstoppable from unyielding and i think i'm gonna be saving for the kaboom boom flask on uber serious but i'm not sure yet because I, I did want to try out the flask and see how it feels wait i clicked the lever didn't i oh yeah there we go Interestingly enough, my fire trap is only level 20, so I could actually get a 21 fire trap. That boosts my single target a lot, but our single target's already pretty decent. Ooh, memory. So that is cleared. So that's with us currently using Awakened Ink AoE, 21 Righteous Fire, Awakened Swift Affliction, Awakened Burn, Awakened Ellie Focus, and Life Tap. There's probably potentially a better setup with Empower for efficacy, but I don't feel like recoloring all my gear right now. So with that being said, let us not talk about that gear and instead focus on the gear crafting. So what I have for you guys here today is a six link uh, Saints Halberk that I bought for 10 chaos earlier uh you can see here me literally buying all the items here in the morning so i actually bought this scepter for literally one chaos the reason it's one chaos is it does have a fractured burning which you can find here but the item level is extremely low it's item level 69 and it's not on the best base a better base would be like 40 percent le damage i think using gear like this is even better because it helps kind of break the barrier of people being concerned and using currency on non-max item level equipment a lot of people are often like what item level do i need i don't want to spend my currency you don't really have to worry when you're crafting your entry level gear for the most part you could spend 10 minutes to study this or you could just spend a few chaos and i promise your outcome is going to be fine uh so i grabbed this scepter here for literally one chaos i grabbed these goliath gauntlets for 10c now the only reason it's 10c is because i was looking for a very specific armor base um there were another pair for 5c and i was looking for fractured chaos res now anytime i'm doing stuff with fractured gear you can flip it around it could be fractured uh life regen it could be fractured percentage life regen which would be better here it could be fractured life uh there's like a lot of flexibility with your fractures don't hunt for the exact same things i do or people will manipulate the prices unfortunately and then there was the body armor here that i bought for i believe it was 10c i don't actually know how to show you but I believe it's like eight, oh, 15 cows. You can see right there. Uh, so this body armor was 15C. Only item level 70. It is a six link. Saints Halberk is the highest armor base of the armor ES. And the reason I'm crafting on an armor ES is it's significantly easier to chrome for newer players, especially entry level gear. All right. With that being said, let's get started. So for the body armor, uh, you have two options. Well, you have more than two options. You have three options. So you have number one, I think it's Dread. Dread is kind of expensive, so I didn't bother buying them. 
Dread, if you see it says body armor, it rolls flat armor. That's very strong for Juggernaut. Um, specifically because of our ascendancy. Unbreakable, we want to get as much armor out of our body armor as possible without sacrificing all the other stats. But again, that's expensive. We're not going to go with that. Instead, I'm going to go with uh, Shrieking Essence of Greed. So actually, Shrieking is... Uh, these are three C each. Let's go with Screaming. Screaming Essence of Greed is actually only one Chaos each. Maybe if you're buying in massive bulk or 2C, I can just show you here with Awakened POE Trade. So when I click this, you can see they're around 1C each, whereas Shrieking is 3 and Deafening is 5. So, with that being said, uh, when you're using Screaming or above, it either needs to be white or it needs to be rare. So let's start crafting. So before you start crafting, it's important to understand what you're looking for. So what exactly are we looking for? Well, for me personally, we know we have a life roll secured from the Essence. It's guaranteed 90 to 99 life. So what else would I like? I'd like a good life regen roll. I would like a chaos resistance roll, maybe. Uh, potentially a really high flat or percentage armor roll. Um, I guess ideally having a suffix open would be the best because at this stage in the game, I would want chaos res and you can craft chaos as a hybrid roll um, after you unveil it with Jun. So let's get started. Right, so 90 life, but nothing really that good. I mean, the armor and energy shield's okay, but it's a hybrid, so let's go again. Okay, so that actually hit 99 life with some chaos res, some life regen. Honestly, that would be usable, but it's kind of shit for me, so I'm going to re-roll it. To make that more usable, you could just craft, like, uh, flat armor or percent armor and use an exalt orb for your prefix. 90 life with dual res. Uh, 90 life with fire and lightning, 99 life with some poopy stats. Um, what does this have? This has... This would be okay if that mana roll wasn't there so I could craft armor. Uh, let's go again. This has uh, lightning, life, armor. We don't want that. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. 99 life, fire. Nope. 99 life, cold. Okay. I like that that's good enough for me so that has a tier six life regen roll with a hybrid it sucks that it's energy shield but it still has life and then it has a suffix open so honestly what i would do here is i'm gonna just i would use an exalted orb uh, again you could look for something much better but we're going for entry level gear so what i would personally do in a situation like this is either a you can craft armor uh, you're either going to craft percentage armor or flat. I don't know what would be better in this case. Maybe flat because the flat is so high. Uh, if you are needing chaos res, then you could just craft the chaos res hybrid. And then you could exalt slam for life. Or, well, exalt slam for armor. So either way, you know, vice versa. So that one is done for now. We're going to leave that alone. And let's talk about the next pieces. So now your weapon. Weapon is a big part of the build. Uh, entry level weapons can be very hard to craft. Crafting an elemental weapon is, like, honestly virtually impossible for new players. There are no essences or... I mean, you would, you could use fossils to get it, but for the most part, there is no direct easy way to just say, I want a lot of damage, right? We turn to minion damage scaling. Now, the reason why we're going with minion damage scaling is because a spiritual aid says increases and reductions to minion damage also affect you. So, when I use this essence, my one-hander will roll 67 to 82% minion damage. That damage is effectively the same as fire damage. It takes the place of the fire damage roll, but it's giving us a fire damage roll. So what that means is every time I click my essence on this weapon, I am guaranteed that burn from the fracture. I am guaranteed the prefix of uh, minion damage. And then ideally, I would want a suffix open for fire multi. So again, you want to kind of figure out what you want on this weapon before you start crafting it. So we know we're getting minion damage. We know that fractured burn stays. So what do we want? A, a suffix open for fire multi, or B, we randomly hit multi, or C, we hit plus one fire or plus one all spell skills. Now, since this is 69, I don't believe we can roll all spell skills, so I think 75 is the requirement, but I could be wrong. That might be amulet only. I very well could be wrong there. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So, this rolled virtually nothing. Let's re-roll it. This rolled cold multi. Well, if that was fire multi, it would have been done. Uh, let's go again. Also, to confirm, these here are literally 1C each. I just bought a bunch of Fear Essences, 45 for 45C. Okay, let's go again. And again. Uh, oh, man, I thought that said plus 2 to spells for some reason, but that's literally not possible. Let's go again. Uh, again. 
Mm, again? Again? Um, I mean, if that fire damage was actually good, then I would say that's potentially usable, but let's go again. Why cold multi GG? That's so rude, man. That's so rude. Let's go again. Uh, plus one melee gems. Damn, I got excited for a second. Uh, let's go again. Um, lightning damage. Let's go again. What do we have here? Uh, again with the cold damage. Let's go again. Minions deal set. And again, anytime you get a weapon, like you could literally use it as is. You could just craft fire multi and you still have... 80% minion with the burn with the le with fire multi but i'm trying to get you guys like a better weapon right and unfortunately when it comes to this stuff there is a lot of rng involved with crafting it but i mean realistically that's only been like 18 chaos right there right seems like a lot it's not that much full damage what is this it's poo poo that's what it is le damage Lightning res. Uh, minion damage. Well, I guess minion damage is always there. Don't do this to me, GGG. I crafted my weapon and two others this way. Nope. 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 Again with the cold. Getting really unlucky here. Uh, spell damage, hybrid, we don't really care about. So, hybrid is actually a unique role where hybrid does not take the place of a fire damage role or, like, any other damage role, but it will increase your fire trap damage. So, that is technically actually okay. Like, you could craft fire multi and call it a day and use it. It's really not that bad. Um, but let's keep going. I believe. Oh, I hit it again. I hit the hybrid, the hybrid spell damage again. Let's keep going. Uh, nope. Nope. I am getting really unlucky, though. Why? My video bricked? I refuse to have it brick. This will work. I have any more okay well since we're getting really unlucky on this right now we're gonna just have to call it a day here on like the next craft so we're gonna just go with that we're gonna submit to the will and say that unfortunately we're getting really unlucky so in a scenario like this right where you don't get a good outcome and you're broke you could always still just craft fire multi like this and it's still and again this outcome could have been used out stopped after like the fifth essence you have the 30 Ellie base, the 82 minion damage, hybrid spell damage, the burn, and then the fire multi, right? That's still a pretty good weapon. I don't actually know how to search that. Um, I don't even know if that's accurate, but uh, but yeah. So that one is done. I'm sad we didn't get like an actual, like if you look at my weapon, I did the exact same thing and I got, so I, I went more expensive with a dot multi and I just used like 20 essences and hit fire multi. Granted, it was lucky, but... I was trying to get something. We hit cold multi several times. We hit cold damage several times, lightning damage. Yeah, uh, let's just go ahead and put this over here. Okay. Uh, next up would be the gloves. Now for the gloves, you can use life essences. Um, you can use chaos resistance essences. It all depends on what your fracture is. For the sake of this, I am gonna use minion damage essence. And the reason for minion damage essence is two reasons. Number one, league mechanic, we want more damage. Number two, it takes up a prefix, and I think suffixes are more important on gloves, so it's not a super big deal. So again, we want to kind of figure out what our outcomes are. So I am going to use the minion essence. I guarantee the chaos res. I guarantee hitting minion damage. So what would I like? I would like to hit life and life regen, and that way I can craft plus one. So for example, if you look at my gloves, I hit tier one life, tier two life regen, um, and then I hit a bad life roll, but still I could craft plus one gems and then I put my auras in there and I get like an extra 1.5k armor from my determination. I get regen from my vitality and then I even get 1% more spell damage from my malevolence because it's 22. So let's get started. 
All right, nothing good. All right, nothing good. Um, that hit a life roll, so it's not bad. Uh, all right, nothing good. Same thing, nothing good. Nopers. Uh, that hit dexterity. So now I'm going to just use uh, the life essences here since I have them on me. So if we're using the life essence, we really want to make sure we hit a life suffix would be ideal. Gosh, that armor roll. Don't really care about that, though. So, I mean, oh, that would have been... I mean, that's still okay. Again, not amazing, but entry-level gear. You have a life regen roll. You have the fractured chaos roll. You have the 70 life roll. And then you can craft plus gems. And you have, like, somewhat of a usable piece, right? I'm going to just keep greeting just to kind of show you the outcomes of what we're getting. In my defense, I did not think the weapon was going to scoop all of our essences and have nothing. Yeah, so anyway, I hope that video kind of helped you out. Sorry we didn't have the best showcases. Sometimes RNG is not on your side. Uh, but anyway, let me know if this helped you guys at all because this is pretty much what I did to craft majority of my gear. My weapon is crafted. My uh, gloves are crafted. My body armor is crafted. Crafted this ring. It's a lot more expensive, so I'm not going into it. Amulet I bought. Helmet was crafted, and then of course the uniques are all just uniques. You cannot craft the uniques. So, anyway, see you guys all later. Hope the video helped you guys out. If it did, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Also, if you look over here at the website, I also have a video just like this from Last League, which is basically like budget Agus, or sorry, uh, low effort crafting, which is pretty much this video. Anyway, see you guys all later.